Let's redo that. Okay, here we go. Okay, turn around. Here we go.
if you haven't noticed, I'm kind of a nerd. Uh, I've never noticed that, actually. Don't lie, Greg. Don't lie. I feel I'm a loser. And look at all this, these gadgets I got. I mean, I've come up with some pretty cool stuff. I do have to say. But... Do you think there's an app for that? No, there's not, a, there's not an app for being a nerd. So I'm just going to be a loser? A loser? So he'll just be a loser the rest of the time? Yeah. There actually is an app for that. Cool. It's the Je Jehovah Nisi app. Hit your Jehovah Nisi app. Let me get the scripture for you. Which is next on our list. First Chronicles 29 and 11. <coughs> Jehovah Nisi. Did it change yet? That computer's running slow too. There's plenty of scriptures though in the Bible for healing. Let's find you one really quick. Okay. Psalms 103, what is it? He's kind of scared, so Jehovah, Jehovah Shalom, my peace, Ephesians 2.14. Okay, I don't need that spotlight on. It's already pretty hot up here. Thank you. For he is our... Okay. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and hath broken down the middle wall and partition between us. For he is our peace, Jehovah Shalom. So when you're scared, you don't have to worry about being scared. Just go to Jehovah Shalom, click it, and boom, he brings you peace. Just like that. Hmm. Wow, that's great. You know, why you mention it, uh, since we're doing this, uh, you're kind of dirty lately. I'm sorry. Feeling kind of weak too? No. Well, you need Jehovah Mikadesh. There you go. Okay. Take that. Take that. Jehovah Mikadesh. Leviticus 20 and 8. Oh. Leviticus 20 and 8. Bless him, Jesus. Now, 
wrote this one here. And ye shall keep my steps and do them. I am the Lord which sanctify you. Oh. He's got it. We went through an entire all of electric take, but he's got it. All right, let's try this again. And ye shall keep my statutes and do them. Come here, Amanda. Come here, I need your help. scares you, maybe there's something in your house that scares you, maybe there's something at school that scares you, 
Well, don't worry, because there's an F for that. Jehovah Shalom, my peace. Sometimes you feel dirty. When I say dirty, hopefully you guys take baths, and if you don't, I won't judge you for it. <laughs> However, there's a different kind of dirty, too. There's the kind of dirty that the devil gets you. That kind of dirty. From sin. You can't wash it off yourself. There's an act for that. There's Jehovah Micah. Is it, is it Micah-dash? Micah-dash? Either one. The Bible wasn't written in plain English. But he's my sanctifier. His sanctification cleanses my heart, cleanses his heart, cleanses the pastor's heart, and can cleanse all your guys' heart. Okay? Maybe, uh, maybe you're lonely. Do it. Ernie needs a date. He's lonely. Unfortunately, there's not an app for that. There's... I, I, do have, I do have one question. Yes. How much is this? This I am from five. We're going to get to that in just a second. Okay. It's something, it's been around for a while, and the price, though, has never changed. It's never, never changed. Okay. But, but you're lonely. There's not an app that's going to get you a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Sorry. But there's someone that called Jehovah Shammah. And he can be your abiding presence. He can be with you. If you're at school, you're, you're getting ready to do a test. It's an algebra test. I don't know how many of you guys do an algebra. Uh, yeah, I don't think you guys are. Okay, Miranda's doing algebra. Well, you need an abiding presence because I stink at algebra. I speak at basic math and basic reading sometimes. It's called dyslexia. There's an app for that. Jehovah Shammah, my abiding presence. And no matter what problems that you guys, or you, or anybody else that may face, there's an act for that. You just pray to Jehovah. He's, he's everything you need. And Ernie asked a good question. How much does a phone like this cost? Now, the apps, most of the apps on any phone are free. Yeah. Okay. The phone, however, that did cost. Okay, and I'm sorry about the cost. But, and the, the cost for that phone was the death of someone. So, basically, everybody who wants this phone has to die to get it. Oh, that, my. No way, that ain't right. No, 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 no. Well, guess what? Some, we just hold on because I forgot about this. Someone decided to die in place of you guys so that you could have a phone like this. Now, it's not a physical phone, but it, it is something that can be with you all the time. It's called the I Am Phone, because no matter what problems you guys face, He is. Everything. So, if, if you guys got something lacking in your life, no matter what it may be, like I said, I mean, God can't make you smell better, but God may give you the wisdom to take a bath. You know, God can't get you a date, but He can maybe, uh, I don't know. Okay, what? How much is it? Well, I just yeah. told you. It, it's death. Okay. It's, it's your life. Yeah. But you didn't have to give your life. Jesus gave his life so that you could own that phone free. But there's only there's one thing you got to do to get a phone like that. Yeah. you got to ask him for it. Okay. Okay, it's real easy to ask him. So it's free? It's, it's a free phone. Wow. I'd like to see Apple do that. And <laughs> They should be lying inside this church again. They're not standing out there in cold wing for an iPhone. I agree. That's very good. <laughs> That's crazy. Keep going. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. But but see, like I said, anybody can have this phone. Um, there's no contract that you have to sign. You do sign a contract, but God allows you to break it if you want to. Now, I don't know if anybody gets a phone like that, why they would want to break that contract. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't either. It don't cost you nothing. There's no monthly service plan. All there is is bowing your knee and asking God, for I am. So, if you, if you, if you keep this, doesn't your name go in that little book? It does. It's, it's not, uh, it's not a, a registry or anything like, well, I guess it is a registry. Yeah. You can register for heaven by signing up for that phone. So... But guess what? Everybody. There's no age limit. How many is too young to have a cell phone? Your parents say you're too young to have a cell phone. Okay? Well, guess what? You're not too young for this phone. It's a free one. 
So if anybody wants to come up and receive that, or you got something something that's on you, something that you're sick, uh, we, we prayed for her before church. She said that she, we'll pray for her again while, since we got everybody here. But if you guys got a need, no matter what it may be, these altars are open. If you would, come up here. We're going to pray. Adults, I ask you to come up, find someone to pray with.